Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel family. You already know what time it is. Gang gang, we in this thing. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button to be a part of the crew. Smash that like button to see what it do, y'all. Okay, so let's get into this reading for you. This is going to be for my Aries. Okay, let's see what the energy is like. What advice I can give you guys for today. It's going to be a general reading next 48 hours. Let's see what's headed your way. Okay, so let's get into it. Next 48 hours for Aries. What y'all going to be dealing with? All right. So in decision court, this one's in reverse saying that you guys are going to have a situation to where you guys are going to be. Y'all done made up y'all mind. Okay. Um, strategy court and attachment court. Y'all done made up y'all mind. Y'all care for somebody that done shut their heart out to y'all. With that attachment card, y'all done made up y'all mind that y'all still attach to this person. With the strategy card, y'all have some sort of plan. There's something that y'all got. There's something that y'all are thinking about that y'all are concocted in y'all minds. And it could be one of those situations to where based upon this person closing their heart off to you, you have some sort of plan that you think is going to work in order to get this person to care for you or to show that they care for you. Hold on. All right, and with the financial constraints and adjacent possibilities, this one in reverse. Okay, so um, Aries, so it's saying that right here, the reason why y'all are doing this with this financial constraints, y'all might be going through some financial situations right now. Y'all might have some things that y'all need to get caught back up on with the adjacent possibilities. This one in reverse and the hostilities card in the Okay, it's saying next 48 hours, this individual is going to be feeling like they don't trust you, Aries. So depending on whatever it is that y'all feel like y'all have made up y'all mind or whatever it is that y'all don't plan on doing. So I feel like this is a situation to where y'all going to reach out. And based upon you guys reaching out, this person's not going to give y'all an opportunity. Um, with the hostilities card, this way verse, they don't have no hostile energy towards you. They don't have no type of frustration or, you know what I'm saying, no ill will towards you. They don't hold no type of jealous feelings towards you. They just don't trust you. And with the daughter personal health and happiness, they feel like they would be unhappy with you. Um, with the financial constraints, this could also be a very constraining type of situation whenever it comes to you guys interacting with each other. And with the woman holding the heart, that just lets us know that this is a situation to where this individual's doing what it is that they love, chasing whatever it is that they love. And you could be sitting back trying to, you know, communicate with them and trying to make contact because you want some sort of like with that woman holding a heart you want some sort of care some sort of nurture because right here you're going through a situation where you're not um, feeling happy with what it is that you got going on you're trying to let go of jealousy you're trying to let go of frustrations you don't trust you know letting other people in letting other people get an opportunity to get that close to you um in terms of knowing what you have going on, on a personal level but you're willing to let this person know. But it's like you guys have to be careful because it's seeming like, like I said, with the four shock archangel Raphael in reverse, this individual isn't going to let you in in that type of way. And with the angel of strength, there's somebody that you don't feel too strongly about letting go of. Um, with the goddess of the moon, yeah, that's dealing with feelings. And with the sun card, this one in reverse, you guys done sat back and manifest a lot of bad energy whenever it comes to dealing with this relationship. Um, it's saying that y'all, like, it's like, you're going to end up, based upon the shit that y'all did in this relationship, you have to put in more work to try and rebuild this relationship back than you did before. You know, like one of those things. And with the third chakra, Archangel Camille is saying that this is somebody that you desire. So it's like you guys desire to sit back and, you know, put in the work to try and, you know, make things work with this person because you guys don't feel too comfortable with stepping away from the relationship connection you guys might find yourself in situations to where you guys don't feel too strongly about letting go of certain things in your life it doesn't even have to be a person but it could just be letting go of certain things in your life you guys feel like whenever it comes to your desires you guys have to put in a lot of work this could also cause you guys to be internally frustrated and upset as well and feeling like you know things just don't play out in your favor so now it's kind of like you guys need like a helping hand in order for you guys to be able to navigate through things. Um, and with the angel of love, this is what you guys are going to be looking for. Hold on. Yeah, you guys are going to be looking for love right here. Um, so it's saying with the angel of love, y'all going to be looking for love right now. With the heel of the ages, this went in reverse and the thinking man card. You guys have to some growing to do. Um, you guys be doing a lot of actions 
that y'all need to grow out of whenever it comes to intimately connecting. You guys have a tendency to misconstrue an intimate connection for love. And with that journey card, this one in reverse. Now it's going to be a time next 48 hours. You guys are going to be taking action towards distancing yourself because you guys have made some bad decisions. You guys haven't been making the wisest decisions so far. Um, this will be situations where you guys um, might find yourself kind of just sitting back, you know, trying to figure out what actions it is that you need to take, you know. It's like you feel like you want to distance yourself from making the wrong choices and making the bad decisions and stuff. But it's like sometimes based upon your circumstance, those bad decisions, you know, they get placed in your environment. And it's like it looks like it's a good decision in order for you to get out of whatever it is that you need to get out of. But it's like, you know, you got to weigh things out. You got it, it, it's like you it's like you got good and then you got evil type situation going on. And it's like sometimes the evil don't look so evil because it can help you get out of whatever it is that you need to get out of. But it's like at the same time, you got to look at what you sacrifice and look at what it is that you're doing, you know, um, look at your next moves make, uh, moving forward. Is it really going to based upon the moves that you move, um, take now? Is it going to manifest situations to where you're able to? come across the actual genuine relationship or somebody that's going to care for you or somebody that's going to guide you through whatever situation that you're about to move forward into or whatever situation that you're trying to make a decision about um so hold on or is it are you going to be guided to individuals that's going to be there for the moment they'll ride it out they'll hold it down for the moment but whenever things get rough things get tough they're not going to be there or they'll appear to be there because you know they're able to gain something off of you or something from you all right um and then also we have the success card and the focus card you guys not focus on your success um with the movement card and the invisible card so it's like <sighs> with this invisible card this is going to be something something that's going to be revealed here um and with the movement card y'all are going to be revealing some uncomfortable it's something that's causing y'all it's something uncomfortable right here y'all not focused right here and it's saying that right now it's like this is something that's going to be revealed like it's like it's gonna be apparent and that's four cards so that's dealing with this is what you guys are working towards this is what you guys are building towards so full moon and leo everybody's gonna be seeing how you guys are dealing with not being focused not being on y'all grind not manifesting the success that y'all should be manifesting this is what's gonna be playing out um with this full moon and leo all right, so hopefully that helps y'all out for today. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.